Like, and now it all makes sense. Can you move this You're gonna make no prize. Matt, can you move the Skype window down a bit so we're not cutting his head off? No. <laughs> Are you cutting my head off? Yes. Only, only a little. <laughs> See, I'm not actually watching the feed right now because I, I didn't want... Not too far, you're cutting us off so like, I'm just watching I'll you guys on Skype, so I don't know like what horrible overlays you're putting over my face or whatever. No, <laughs> just penises mostly. Um, okay, what uh, of the other webcomics that you've done a guest for, which one was the most difficult to do? Oh, man. You guys know White Ninja Comics? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I had to do a guest trip for them, and it was really hard because, like, it has such a distinctive art style, and I didn't really... It, I felt like it didn't work right if I didn't do that. And so they asked me to do a guest strip. And so I did this strip that was, like, a very standard White Ninja strip, like, with the kind of, like, child-style artwork and everything. But then after about five panels, it suddenly became tremendously serious, and then I started drawing it in this, like, hyper-detailed, like shaded style it was all about like white ninja's you know personal anguish about his relationship with his father um that was probably uh the most difficult one but i think it turned out okay. it's probably on my website somewhere <laughs> oh right sorry i did i was just I, I just went to see it i was I, uh i i remember the uh the picture with the 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 baby white ninja and his dad yeah oh it's so good i forgot about that <laughs> Oh my god, did somebody already find it? Look at that. That's fast. I did another one for them later where it's just a no, joke about organs, which was, is probably funnier. But, but, that was uh, Ashton actually linking to that. Oh, yeah, Ashton, you're a star. Awesome. Team Ashton! Yeah, Ashton. No. Ashton. Oh. <laughs> what, what do you think about Team Ashton, Team Crow, Sam? Well, I know Team Ashton 100%, but I have, like, you know, friend loyalty. Woo! And I have Ashton, access to your Ashton server. conducted my, my <laughs> wedding ceremony. <laughs> yeah. He did. Ashton knows where you host. <laughs> um, are there still plans in place to collect the older chapters of the comic into books? That is something I really, really want to do. I, I wouldn't quite necessarily say it was a sure thing. It's like, the problem I'm having with it is, is if I made the books the same length as the ones we've been putting out uh, now, I think it would take five or six books to collect all the old stuff. Wow. And that seems to me like a lot of books. So I kind of want to do it in, in like maybe one or two like really big like huge collections you know like those like the, the one volume bone edition right. where it's like you know like a thousand pages long it's like as thick as a phone book i kind of want to do something like that but it's like it's very expensive uh and so we're kind of watching how the sales of my first books do to decide whether or not it's time to take on that kind of project um but if not as a physical book, then certainly, uh, you know, in digital formats and ebooks and Kindle and stuff like that is all stuff that I've been looking into. So uh, I want to do that too, but I am hoping at some point to do like the big hardcover, like massive collection somehow. <laughs> There's a good question here, actually. For any new readers, do you have a brief summary of what your comic is about and why they should read it? Uh, sure, I guess. Uh, you get lots of practice at this when you're at conventions. Yep. Um, right now, uh, Sam and Fuzzy's a comic about a pair of guys who have inherited a ancient ninja crime syndicate. <laughs> and they are trying to reform it as an agency that helps people instead of murdering them. And uh, after about doing this for about a year, uh, it's kind of falling apart. And uh, they're losing all of their staff and the ninjas are angry. Uh, but they're still kind of taking these weird odd jobs, uh, trying to help people with weird or supernatural problems. So, I mean, like, I don't know, the selling point, I guess, is it's a comic about uh, guys who run a company full of ninjas uh, taking jobs, dealing with, like, gangster gerbils and uh, mutant produce, other kinds of things. It's got lots of wacky, random internet humor. No, it doesn't oh, actually have It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, okay, that's the, that's the cell line for now. Nice. I think ninjas and hamsters is a good combination cell line. Well, it's good. It's just, you know, like a lot of times when you when you start with a lead like that, like people who are really internet savvy kind of roll their eyes a little bit because it's like, <laughs> it just sounds like that sort of that sort of formula where you just take a bunch of random stuff and throw it together and then be like, it's really funny. But like when you're selling to people for the first time and they're not necessarily really jaded, that's usually the best way to sell them on it. Yeah. So it's kind of like it depends on who you're talking to. It's like oh, either like yeah, there's ninjas and stuff, or it's like, but there's also this really serious story that like puts it all in the context that makes lots of sense. It's, it's it's sort of like I think of when I try to sell Firefly to people who are not really in that community and haven't ever seen it, and I'm like, okay, so it's an awesome show about cowboys in space, 
Stay yeah, with me. <laughs> that's a perfect Wait, example because like most people will be like, cowboys in space, that sounds amazing. But then somebody else will be like, oh, not cowboys in space again. You know, it's like, that's so done. I've seen Cowboy Bebop. Exactly. It's, it's like, you know. <laughs> I like the ninjas and hamsters, that's all. <laughs> Your comic needs more bandicoots, if you ask me, says, 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 says someone in the chat. Yeah, could we get a bacon robot up in, maybe? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, bacons. There, there was a question about bacon, and the, it was something really silly. But bacon isn't the question. Bacon is the answer. Have you ever drawn? Have you ever drawn any secret bacon into web comics? <laughs> Not yet, but I mean, like now that you mention it, that does seem like a really good idea. Yeah. That'll be uh, the widescreen collector's edition. Yeah. <laughs> the widescreen. Yeah, that's when I add like an inch on either side of every panel. Revealing all of the secret stuff that you didn't see before, you know, like the microphones and like you know, like the, the extra cameraman, the prop guy. Yeah. So hey, we have an ongoing challenge uh, to collect facts. We we can only collect one fact per person, but we get five dollars for every fact. Can you give us a fact? Does it have, like a real fact? Or yeah. Oh, it, well, it needs to be a real fact, but it can be whatever, like a you know, like a trivial fact. Sam is the editor of a kid's science magazine, so he should have lots of these. I should have lots of information. What's something that we just talked about in our most recent issue that would be a fact? Give me one second and I will tell you. I All right. check using my computer. Ooh. Because I don't retain facts. Sam is going to reference. Age. I just regurgitate them using my devices. Yes, so I'll have to recite to you the facts we got from the last two degrees as well. What? Oh, I'll please do. Please do. Oh, well. For Graham, the, the, the facts from the last two interviews, yeah. so you can write them down. Just to I already did write them oh, down. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah I wrote them down. down. So what, what was Movie Bob's fact? Uh, movie Bob's was the uh, the highest grossing movie ever. The family the, film. Family film. Adjusted, Adjusted for, for inflation, inflation is the original Muppets movie. Really? Uh, Neil Gaiman's was, and that relates to animals because animals right. in it. animals. Uh, Neil Gaiman's fact was that bee space exists and is the size of one bee climbing over another. The thing about bee space is that bees will not build anything in bee space. Could you switch back to the wide when Sam's just typing, Matt? Oh, sorry. Yes, I could do that. Ordinarily, we switch back and forth when certain people are talking. <laughs> sorry, what's bee space? Well, you see, this is the thing about bees. If there's a small space, bees will fill it with honeycomb. Yeah. If there is a large space, bees will fill it with honeycomb. There is a certain type of space, size, which is exactly the size of one bee crawling over another, that is called bee space. Kid you not, that they will, really leave, that they will leave clear, like a corridor. And a guy discovered this in what, the mid 1800s? Yep, huh. yes. And, and to this day, all beehives are still built using that design. Why However, he received zero royalties for it. That's the best way to That's do pretty amazing. Thing. And he oh, got nothing is. for it. So that's why the opening to a beehive is exactly the size it is. Yes, exactly. I don't have any good facts. I feel like I have a lot of facts that might potentially be out of date now because I haven't learned any new information. Whatever you want. Pluto's not a planet. We got that one. I, I used to know. I used to know that the top-grossing independent movie ever made was the original live-action Ninja Turtles movie. I just don't know if that's still true. I feel like it probably might not be. That was independent. That's an independent movie, I know, right? Like, that's really? the first reaction that I had when I heard that. But it's because I'll take the, guys, it. the guys who uh, made um, Ninja Turtles still owned the rights, technically, themselves. And they made so much money off the cartoon, they just decided, like, yeah, we'll just pay and make the movie ourselves. Yeah. And so it's an independent film. And it's about turtles. You, you can it's pretty, about you, turtles. You, you, you could pretty easily salvage that into at, its, at the time. Yes. Yeah, at the time. such and such a date, this was a fact. Yeah. And it's like at the time, the Care Bears movie was the top grossing Canadian movie ever made. Oh. Like, the Care Bears movie was a Canadian film? Yes, no, yeah, no, no. Kind of, no, no. Huh. Does that mean I, the Care Bears I, I, as a property were Canadian? Or are they. It's okay, Pluto. I'm not a fan of either. I think they were created by American Greetings, but the, the cartoons were always made in Canada. Huh. There's no cool. university the animation studio. Yeah. Interesting. Much like Rock and Roll. Which Much really like Rock and Roll. In fact, the two cartoons are very similar. Yes. Yeah. Oh, B space jump. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. That sounds like an excellent drawing. We request that. Okay, all right. Sam, there's been a request for your cheating by referring to the, your computer to be reclassified as a legitimate strategy. So, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Okay. <laughs> do I have to do anything? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, oh the, this is uh, top grossing uh, independent. The passion. <laughs> 
Patrick Of course. The oh, Patrick man. Patrick. Yeah, look at all these. Wow. Yeah, and these are all post Ninja Turtle movies. Crouch yeah. so. and Tiger, Hidden Dragon? All right, so huh. at the time. <laughs> yes. Huh. Fat. I wouldn't have thought that Pulp Fiction was an independent movie. Uh, I thought that was I'm, Miramax. Like, the fact, fact that the turtles, turtle, like, the Ninja Turtles don't show up above Rocky Horror, which suggests to me that Rocky Horror became yeah. Ninja Turtles. Well, when did Rocky Horror really start becoming a thing? Because mm. mm. Rocky Horror could have picked up more recently. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it keeps going? I don't know. I bet your DVD sales are good. Ah. Whatever. <laughs> well, there's another thing. Is it theatrical release or is it all, all time? That's mm. difficult as well. Let's just call it past fact. All right. Fact salvaged. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I know later on, later on, this fact will be completely discredited. And I'm going to have to, you know, call back in with another fact. When it's not a lie. Fair enough. <laughs> Terrible. Well, hey, well, hey, Sam, I actually thank just you. made that up. What? It just sounded good to me. Well, hey, Sam, thank you for calling. <laughs> There's a live auction. <laughs> we, we appreciate still have it. An auction. Yes, we have a live auction. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, Sam don't... has this really Takeover sweet piece room. of art. I do. Yeah, I have it right uh, here on my desk. I can't even hold it, although I don't. Awesome. I know it's probably a better way to show it. I drew this. For you. I, I do like the expression on his face. That's oh, pretty wow. excellent. This Thank was you. my this is my my pet cause because uh, you know Yoshi plays tennis. He drives a car. He bakes cookies. He goes on safaris. I think that that qualifies as being an intelligent creature. So why is Mario still riding around on him like a horse? <laughs> <laughs> Good That's call. I like it. And, and, uh, and a T-shirt, right? Yes, I have one of those as well. Now this would be, the, the winner could have it in whatever size, men's or ladies' sizes they want. I have them all. But this would be the Tanuki Plumber shirt, which is one of our most popular. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so also, nice. one that I have to explain to a lot of people at conventions, which is kind of sad, because I thought it was well, obvious. But, well, not, not, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Mario 3D Land is out, so yeah. there you go. That's true. You know, <laughs> the, the shirt has started selling a lot better in the last couple of months, so I kind of assume that that's why, which is fine. So, so yeah, we have an auction. Is, is BidBot ready to go? Yep. yep. All, All right. right. Ladies and gentlemen, um, start your BidBots. I will find out, Ashton. Do you have any, any, any music oh. for this we want? <laughs> yeah, Sam, Sam, what's your what's your requested auction music? My Oh, well, what, what kind of selection do we have here? Uh, what, I don't know. All kinds. I'll, I'll do you have, like, death metal? We have, you, we have YouTube, so whatever is on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, what, about, what about, like, some... Do you guys know like XOC, the guy who does the yes. covers of Kirby music? I I would always I would always kill for that. Oh. One second, we just right, need to pull that up at the moment. No, it's it's right there. Oh. That one. Oh. <laughs> oh, but then you can see yeah. Sam Morgan. You can see what the name is. Oh, is that it? Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> In the meantime, all right. Sorry. Sorry. All difficulties. One moment. <laughs> Administrative duties. There's a puppy back here, so it's kind of distracting. Well, uh, I'll do a little dance. Oh, you're searching in challenges. Failing at this so badly. Stand by. We are. There are so many windows. 284. It is 284. Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. So. So. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. All right. What? This happens quickly. <laughs> Three, yeah. 300. Yeah. Okay, so Sam. Yeah, the music up? Uh, no, sorry, XOC. Wait, wait, uh, wait, uh, Sam, remind us what we're bidding on. Ah, yes. We are bidding on uh, this beautiful piece of Yoshi Revenge and also the uh, slightly related but not really uh, Tsunoki Plumber t shirt in the size and gendered shirt of your choice. Uh, 500 already. Uh, yeah. Well, then. Uh, I can just like cycle them back and forth. Let's like, try this. Let's see if the style. music works. Five fifty from Vancouver. Not except the six hundred. So Green Bat currently leading at five hundred. I see bids of higher. I see bid. Of, I see a six hundred dollar bid from a Honda or sixty four there. Oh, James, wait. This is on mute. Turn it down. Turn it down. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hold the picture higher. Oh yeah, am I getting cropped off the bottom or something? Like I can't. Six, 600 from Honda 64. Oh, well, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I can see. Uh, <laughs> 650. 650. 650. 650. 
700 for Mighty Magnus. Yeah.